Are you making it easy for your customer? In all aspects of our business, we're in contact with customers. Possible customers, probable customers, past customers, favorite customers. But how easy do, make, do we make it for them to contact us? Quite often not very easy at all. I mean, the most common one I come across are websites where I want to speak to someone and I have to search through. If I can find a contact page, it's just a form. No address, no details. If I go to an about us, no information, just generic, generic stuff written by a web designer means nothing. No phone number. I want to know your real humans. Another one is when you, when you send a quote out to somebody or you send something in writing, do you ever write call us or contact us, things like that, even in your website on other pages, does it say call us? How are they going to call you? You think they're going to look to the top of the page. Now this, all, this may sound silly, but trust me, a lot of people are lazy. I'm an expert, I'm a professional at being lazy. Uh, people need it to be easy. Don't assume anything. Some people are not as clever as you. So if you're telling them to call you, put the phone number right there. Don't think, well, they can look it up. They've already got it. Uh, you know, when you phone up and you leave and someone says, can I take a message? And at the other end, they say, can I take the number? And you say, because you want to just get off the phone, you say, they'll have it. Give them the phone number, please, because they may not be able to find it. They may not be able to put their hand on it very quickly. If you say, email me. Now, some think by saying email and you've got a website, it's easy. You just go to a contact page, etc., etc. No, give people the email address. If you say, look up our website, give people the email website address. So here, for instance, I wouldn't say just go to the website. The website is at www.marketingforowners.com and then you can forward slash podcast, etc. Don't just assume people know how to use Google. Don't assume they know how to look up things in iTunes. I mean, if you want to find the, the, uh, uh, this podcast in iTunes, just go to the search bar and search for marketing for owners and then it will pop up and then you can click on it and click the subscribe button. You'll also find the ratings button, so pop in there. Please give a review. But look at everything you've got and think, am I making it easy for my customer or am I making them put themselves out and put some effort in? If they have to put themselves out and put effort in, they may not like you quite as much as if you have made it easy. Given a choice, three companies getting three quotes, who would you choose, along with price, the one that makes it easy? So here's your weekend challenge. Grab your pen, grab your piece of paper and your pad as usual. Now, I want you to consider how and where you contact customers. So write down your website, emails, quotes or letters, phone calls, answer phone messages, and any other way that a customer may get to you. Now I want you to then look at these and see how easy it is for a customer to find your phone number, your email address, and your website address. And that includes in all those answer phone messages, check your, uh, your mobile or your cell phone message. Have you put a phone number on it or do you just think they just they know how to ring you back? Have you put an email? For instance, if you're out, if you're, a, say you're a, a painter and decorator, you're out and about, and instead of saying, I, I'm working, I'm unable, how about saying, if it's really urgent, please call the office on, give them an alternative or email me on, give them another way. Write down the number of ways that you can improve your contact and go do it. Your email, put a PS, 
You can call us on, you can tweet us at, etc. Our Facebook page is at, think about it, look at everything one by one, get extra contact details in there. And by the way, get yourself a free phone number or a toll free number, please. That's it, weekend challenge done, go get started. But otherwise, have a great weekend.